एवरीवन आई एम होस्ट लोकेंद्र कुमार एंड टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग माइक्रोबल डाइवर्सिटी इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डाइवर्सिटी व्हाई डाइवर्सिटी इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड हाउ माइक्रोबल डाइवर्सिटी इज स्पेसिफिकली लिंक्ड विद आवर डे टू डे लाइफ व्हाई दिस आर इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड वट काइंड ऑफ डाइवर्सिटी यू कैन फाइंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो एज यू कैन से आई फोकस्ड मोर ऑन दी शेप्स ऑफ द डिफरेंट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स बट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स दे कैन बी प्रेटी डाइवर्स in other features as well so let's start the video and try to understand what is microbial diversity and what are these different organisms that i made and uh, this sketch of so i hope that you will like this video you will understand about these organisms and uh, the shapes of these organisms uh, in from this video so let's start the video all right i'll start the video by writing the topic which is microbial diversity microbial you already know what what we mean by microbial means the organisms that are very very small and the the study is the microbiology to study the smaller organisms that we cannot see with the naked eye is the microbiology next is the diversity so we need to understand what is diversity here i'm giving you an example where i'm drawing different lines of, with different colors so you can say they are all lines but still they have different colors so you have one aspects of one aspect of diversity in them next is i can make different shapes of with different colors so you have more diversification in these uh, specific classes so this is how we have different types of organisms we have different types of classes and how much different they are and how much similar they are uh, should be included overall in the diversification so we need to understand uh, how much diverse they are what are the different aspects they are uh, different from each other so one of the important uh, aspect for microbes is the shape so in this video we'll discuss different shapes we will we'll discuss different examples and we'll we'll just introduce you to a smaller a uh, part of a microbiological universe so first organism that i'm discussing here is diplococcus especially means made up of two coccus organisms and it's uh, the example for this is streptococcus pneumoniae this is very important pathogenic organism it can cause serious sore throat so uh, this is the feature of the clostridium pneumon uh, this is the feature of the clostridium tetani where you have bacilli but you have a terminal spore shaped structure present this is the, the organism that can cause tetanus next is the spiral shaped organism so i am not sure if i made the spiral correct but please bear with me and this is the spiral that i try to make An example for this is trichonema pallidum this is again potentially dangerous, dangerous organism next is the vibrio cholera vibrio cholera it got its name from the comma shaped structure uh, that it has uh, it's a comma shaped organism it contains uh, flagellum so it's a vibrio uh, organism and the species is the vibrio cholerae next is the staphylococcus staphylococcus usually uh, the the term came from staph means you have bunch uh, or the group of cells coccus means round cell so you can see here the structure is pretty similar to grapes so they are also uh, you know they are similar to the structure of uh, you you can see the grape uh, that we we all eat delicious but these organisms they are not that delicious next is the streptobacilli strepto is usually is the the name for the chains and bacillus is the rod shaped organism so example here is the streptobacillus moniniformis or you can see how many types of organisms are there and next is the Helic helicobacter pylori you look at the shape of this Uh, bacteria this is the shape of helicobacter pylori and this organism is present in our stomach it can survive in our stomach and cause cancer in uh, in many cases next is the bacilli shaped organisms uh, so you know that e coli is also bacilli but it has lot of flagellum uh, or the structures that are important for the motility and this organism is the salmonella typhi so salmonella typhi is the organism responsible for causing uh, typhoid it's very deadly condition it's um, prevalent where hygienic uh, you know uh, 
hygienic practices are not not good not good enough to prevent the infection especially in the developing countries where uh, the education regarding the sanitation or hygienic condition conditions uh, is not that prevalent where you can you can have salmonella typhi contaminated food water and then getting infection which is also known as typhoid fever or enteric fever so this is pretty dangerous organism specifically all of all all these organisms they are potential threat to our our body so these are um, infectious uh, infectious agents uh, we have only talked about the bacteria and you can see how much diversification can be there so even uh, in the genuses you have different types of shapes even in the species you will have different types of features that why that's why they are uh, divided into different different uh, groups but still what what they have in common that makes them uh, put in one genus so similarity is also there at the same time they can have diversification also so you can see in this particular video we have tried to understand the diversification in the microbes based on their cell shape and also when they combine together how they're going to form different types of uh, structures and you can see these structures under the microscope so if you have a sample if you are exploring what organisms they are there in your sample most likely most of the bacteria they are either uh, you know round shaped and and the bacilli shaped but you will have special kinds of organisms like this also so they will be different than the typical bacterial shape which is bacilli or the cocci so i hope that now uh, you understood better what is the microbial diversity especially in case of the cell shape what are the different organisms and all of them they are medically important bacteria so i hope that now uh, at least you can remember the names and the shapes of these organisms there are so many organisms and if you just google type the medically important bacteria you will find lot of organisms and you can explore the shapes of these i i request you to actually see different types of bacteria and and uh, related slides real samples under the microscope that will help you to you know at least understand what their shape look like under the microscope so i hope that this video is going to help you to understand the micro microbial diversity especially in the shape much more better than than you already know so i hope it has added some knowledge uh, to your you know information domain you you know much better about different organisms and you also understand uh, how much diversity can be there in our microbiological universe so i'll meet in the next video where we'll discuss another we'll discuss uh, new topics current topic important topics that can help you in your exams or in your studies all right we'll meet in the next video till then take care